what's interesting about these two players is that even though they both live in like the SoCal area like, and have been playing since the Brawl days, they've actually fought each other in bracket very few times. Nah, that's just the nature of the game and nature of brackets a lot of times. Even though you guys are friends and whatnot, sometimes it does not happen. Yeah. Here we go, right back into it. Larry has himself a nice sizable lead, a four throw, putting him right back at the ledge. Wants to just get this ledge control and has to go ahead and get up top. That's one of the tricky things with Snake. When they recover high, you have to deal with the B reverses. Yeah. And really, what projectiles are going to be dropping down? Are they just going to Z drop the grenade or are they going to drop that C4 on top of you? But at the same time, that's like his only defense is doing that, which is why he can't get abused really hard in the disadvantage. Yeah, I mean, Fox being one of the better characters, go ahead and deal with that. He jumps, he jumps decently high, and if you get caught by that up air, you're taking the stock easy. Yeah. And we, we can already see the way Larry is like, already so used to fighting Snake, being a brawl veteran himself, right? Like, we saw him just wait, and then the C4 blew up in his face. Like, yep, that's why I didn't run forward immediately. Uh, getting clipped by that grenade, though, running straight in to get that forward throw, using the grab armor to go ahead and make sure Armando just takes the damage from the grenade himself and lands that backer to take the first stock. Yeah, Larry being very patient in a lot of these juggles. He's not being preemptive, so a lot of these early explosives that are falling down from Armando aren't picking him off. Yeah, Larry getting so much mileage from those up airs. Fortunately enough, he did not set off the grenade when it first got pulled in between the second up air. Grenade leading into another up air for himself, and he is on the way of just lapping Armando, and he finally does. Yeah, that, that trade off the jab. Honestly, at this point, you're fine taking these trades. All right, good air dodge. End up waiting for Larry to get away. Ooh, but once they get that up toad a little bit too much lag. Up smash online for Larry, taking a two-stock advantage now. It's looking very good for, for Larry. After this, I wouldn't be surprised to see Armando uh, go for the counter pick, unless something the tights change very quickly in this game. Yeah, Nikita still not enough to, <laughs> to get it away. Larry, smartly enough, just goes to the ledge immediately. Firefox going to get caught. No yeah. tech allowed. And even if that didn't work, at that point, the few pummels, a down throw to up tilt would have co comboed as well for uh, Armando. Larry keeping up the pressure with these neutral airs on Mondo, trying to get himself back onto stage, but so difficult. The dash attacks and the neutral air, literally the same move. <laughs> it is it is the classic Fox pose. Gonna get the Nikita up, trying to cover the upward angle because you recognize what Larry is doing. And Larry went even higher than he was ready for. And wow! Oh my goodness. The C4 just taking that stock. Armando. Yeah. Even to get up now. Larry not really prepared for that because earlier Armando was like doing it preemptively as well. And Larry was waiting it out. And I think Larry just expected Armando to try to take <gasps> it up. Going out with that forwarder. So close to catching Larry to spike him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was looking shaky for Armando in the first two stocks. But he is just finding this life here in the last stock. And on death's bed at that. Yeah. Keeping his movement up, managing to come back on the ground a lot more consistently than he was earlier, and what a time to do it. Yeah, neutral with air is so difficult to try to deal with. Oh, wow, that was that was actually such good awareness by Larry, because uh, that grenade was supposed to intimidate him from rolling backwards, but he knew it didn't Well, in the last explode. situation that we had, Larry ended up going backwards. This time around, he rolled in Armando, not ready for it, and there we have yep. it. Yet another back air online for Larry, taking that stock and taking game one. And we already see Armando actually saying, like, do you want to just run it back on uh, Pokemon Stadium? Yeah, no, and I, I don't blame him. I know, GP, we were talking about a possible counter pick. This, yeah. This time around, if Armando is able to play as he did on that last stock, this can be an entirely different game. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's that's the best way to lose a game. If you have to lose one, it's doing in the middle of a comeback where you're like, all right, if I just play this well the next game, I've got it in the back. Game two, running it back to Pokemon Stadium. Armando immediately getting that grab again, pressuring with those grenades, but Larry still just showing no fear. Yeah, because he knows that the grenade will not go off in time. He will be able to put up his shield and deal with it. If I'm not mistaken, it's a three second timer, correct? It is a uh, two and a half. Two I and think. a half, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Armando threatening with these up tilts, not going to quite catch, but finally, grenade does go to get there on time. Nikita? No. He recognized Larry, ended up having a grenade in him. Yep. Calling out that neutral air immediately, just throwing out the up tilt. And Armando taking the lead now. Mm -hmm. Very, very slightly. Oh, actually. And he's, and he's stuck right there on the C4 too. Luckily enough, oh. Armando just too far. But as I said that, since the C4 was on the stage, he couldn't use it to help him recover. Yeah, yeah, very unfortunate stuff. I was going to say, getting caught on the nair on the platform is actually one of the better places because Fox can't do his up smash confirm out of it. You just fall too far away. But uh, unfortunately, the air dodge off stage costing Armando his life. Already, Larry just putting on the ledge pressure, trying to keep Armando from coming back on stage and getting more of the stage play set up. 
And yeah, Valerius still keeping under pressure. All these neutral airs. He wants to go ahead and either cross up the shield, and if he gets the hit, that's a lot of damage that can follow up from it, because that neutral air, if it's close enough to the ground, he can get a smash back, he can get an F toe. Puts put you in a terrible position, but again, yet another aerial taking that stock. Mm -hmm. Being at, beating out the uh, down air attempt by Armando, too. Just up in his face slightly too soon. All right, trying to get that B reverse. Larry not biting on it. Immediately just running all the way back to get the punish. I like that both of them recognizing the grenade is on him. Putting up their shield. f -tilt not going to be online. Larry just using a neutral getup to get away from it. Yeah, I think, again, I think it comes down to that awareness of just not quite high enough percent for the for tilt to connect. You need to have about 120% on the opponent. Yeah, I mean, one thing I really do like from Larry in the match specifically is when he sees Armando is pulling out their grenade, he's taking that slight second that Snake has to pull it out to run up in there immediately to get a dash back or even just a dash grab. Mm. There we go, that up tilt being such a great anti-air and a great way to close out a stock. It's almost like, it's kind of like his Shoryu, right? It's just like, if they're jumping in, this is how I deal with them. All right, regular jab, sending him off stage. There we have it. Going to go ahead and chase down a little bit more. No, just drops down, get another neutral air, allowing our mono to come down to the ground, forcing these air dodges, and just like that, force that air dodge, got the up smash. Going up 2-0, and it looks like these are best 3 out of 5, G-Pick. Yeah, and that, that last bit was also a good amount of conditioning, too, because Larry remembered, okay, I took his stock with an up air, I just jumped at him suddenly and hit him with it before he could react. And then naturally then, Armando, when he's about to die in his next stock, expects that and tries to air dodge preemptively, but this time Larry's waiting. It's a classic 50-50 and kills him for trying to adapt to his strategy. So let's see if Armando is able to piece it together here in Game 3 again, running it straight back to Pokemon Stadium. Uh, really just telling himself, I, I know what I've done, I, I understand my mistakes, and I want to really capitalize on what I can do against Larry. And I think really a key thing is going to be using that up tilt a little bit more. Even at lower percents, yes, you do not want to stale your kill move, but I think it'll, you will get a lot of mileage because Larry has time and time again come in with that neutral air. Because, I, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, your disadvantage state against Fox looks to be a lot worse than his against yep, yours, just right? Just like that, back here, gonna seal it up yet again. Larry on fire, keeping up the momentum here in game three. Larry watching that ledge, just kind of taking his time jumping off. I actually like that grenade harassment, just providing, providing it covering fire for his recovery. He's like, I'm not trying to hit you, I just need you to put up that shield so I can recover. Yeah, in 2.5 seconds, can you not hit me? That's like all you're saying. Ooh, using the grab armor, getting Armando off of him, and also lapping Armando now. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the C4, another up tilt online. Actually really close to taking the stock. Now nope, Larry just waiting it out, knew the C4 was there, dash attack into the back air. And this is looking rough for Armando. Oh, there we go, gets the back throw. But still, Larry's being able to at least trade so much percent with Armando that it's, it's still not looking too good. Yeah, Larry taking a fantastic angle to get away from that ledge, making sure that Nikita did not have a part of losing that stop. Drop, oh, there oh. we see another out smash. <laughs> I actually like, okay, so what Larry did is he actually walked up to kind of the roll distance away from Armando because he knew the grenade was gonna blow up. He's like, you have to do something when this hits your shield too, you know? Oh, going for the illusion. Almost gets a follow-up from it, too, but Armando luckily able to air dodge. We can't air dodge everything back here online yet again for Larry. It's, it's tricky, man. It's terrifying. We see what happens when you air dodge too early against Larry, and every single time you're flipping that <laughs> coin. <laughs> just, just crawl away, you know, I'm done. <laughs> Larry, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Disengaging. Uh-oh. Doesn't... Oh, no, actually does, like, further lose just off of his own grenade blowing up. Armando's still being juggled, caught at nearly 100%. Oh, Larry looking for a rollback or something, not gonna get it. Looking for a nut smash as well. These neutralers not getting the correct hitbox. Armando trying to go for an empty hop into the up tilt. Yeah, he was expecting Larry, Larry to jump out of shield there. Good recognition, but again, the Nikita getting clipped out. If you're able to actually hit it, uh, it takes about 60 or so frames for it to <laughs> recognize <laughs> before you can move it again. But yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, Speaking okay. of goodbye, <laughs> but he's here we go. 3 0 from Larry Lur. Yeah. The up tilt, again, like, it, it looked to be helping. And